I've always been fascinated by the um, alternate energy movement and how people are taking common things and making uh, power out of it. Um, one of the things that just came to my mind is the concept of using um, disc brake, ven ventilated disc brake um, discs uh, as a turbine, although obviously it's not exactly uh, super efficient. The point of the matter, you can get a hold of them, they're cheap, and um, by attaching magnets to them and putting coils, you can spin, you should be able to spin these things to some pretty good RPMs. Uh, as you can see with the vents, they're, they're targets for high pressure water that have done at the right angle, either going inward or outward. Um, you should be able to spin these things up and get some power out of it, usable power. Um, they're cheap. They should last a long time. And you have all the spindles and uh, bearings that you can get from, um, you know, car parts from junkyards. Uh, once again, it's a matter of cost per kilowatt. This is a standard um, drum, which you can mount magnets on the inside and couple it up uh, to a disc, and so that the magnets won't fly off even if the epoxy bond uh, breaks loose. But so that's another alternative. Then you come to the um, type of um, uh, finned brake drums, which you could probably drive from the outside with with the right uh, high pressure water stream and put the magnets on the inside. As to which way is the most efficient, I don't know. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, is that I know that with enough water at high pressure, it's going in enough points where it's going to hit the, um, the um, finned drum, it's going to spin. And it's a matter of putting some magnets on the inside, which um, uh, won't fly out, as in the case of the attaching them or gluing them to a disc, a disc um, brake, they could fly off. This is another concept of actually putting in an internal hub and shooting water from the inside out. And uh, this is another possible way of using vented disc brakes. How efficient it is, I don't know. But it's worth trying. And like I said, uh, if you can generate power from local streams and drops that you have, even when it rains, um, sometimes some of these streams only run for a little, little bit of time. So put on your thinking cap and think about how you can make um, power from common everyday things. So that's it. Have a, uh, have a good day and keep thinking.